What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things where we tech things seriously. And on today's show I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the LCD panel on this super cheap budget Dell that just really packs a punch. It is the best budget laptop that I've been able to find. So first we're going to go ahead and shut this down. And now that it's shut down, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bezel. Now that we got the bezel removed, there is, I believe, four screws in here holding this in. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these four screws. Now very carefully, I'm going to be lifting up the LCD panel. Now there's some tape here over where the connector from the motherboard connects to the panel. I'm going to go ahead and use the spludger to start to lift that up. And peel that back. And I can see a tiny little bar here that I need to lift that up. There we go. And then pull it straight out. So there is the old panel. Let's go ahead and open up this new one here. And when I look this up online, it's a 30 pin full HD display and it is a IPS display as well. Okay, this puppy looks brand new. It still has the protective plastic on it. I'll go ahead and remove that once I have that installed. There we go. And we'll go ahead and push back down that bar with the spludger. Put the tape back over it. a perfect fit so far. Alright, now I'm going to just go ahead and boot it back up and make sure that it powers on and go from there. running at 1080 and now I can also change that go so now I'll go ahead and just shut it down and if you take a look here the bezel has this little plastic clip piece we want to make sure that that gets inside of here first before we push the top on. Now before we put it back in, you might want to look and make sure that you don't accidentally get a fingerprint on the inside of where the webcam is at, inside here. So that looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and place the bottom pieces in first. And you just flex it a little bit with your fingers and it'll clip right in. So here, 
there is a little channel for the LCD cable to go to. So I'm going to just press that back in, make sure it's nice and flush. And then try it again. There we go. And we can see here, this is a very colorful display and you can now actually see it at pretty much every angle where beforehand it struggled at that. So remember, if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. And if you didn't like this video, you know what to do with that as well too. And as always, if you're not always a subscriber, I hope that you found this video informative and useful and that you consider subscribing as well. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.